SCP-1098 or you is a Russian SCP. <laughs> I mean, the, the SCP itself is not Russian. It's from the Russian SCP Wiki, which is just a division of the SCP Wiki. They have some in other countries as well, and we've reacted to a few. And Dr. Bob seems to touch on quite a bit of these. This one is The Living Puppets. And I started off this channel as a horror animation reaction channel, and now I have that on another channel. O only because this one went way towards SCP, but y'all know I still love horror. I love creepy stuff, and puppets are the definition of creepy. At any rate, guys, we're going to react to this. Make sure to subscribe to Dr. Bob, subscribe to me if you like reaction videos, and let's get into this one. Two teenagers cautiously approach an old, decrepit house. Mm. The house looks like it was built hundreds of years ago. And Very the outside, creepy, man. It appears to be in a serious state of disrepair. Yeah. The walls are cracked and weathered. The roof looks to have holes in it. And one of the decorative columns has completely collapsed. And they looking to go in there. Teenagers have heard rumors about this dilapidated home, though. <laughs> Dressed like burglars, they have heard too. There are riches still to be found inside. Riches? One of the teens starts walking uh -uh. up the stairs onto the porch. <laughs> but his I don't friend know about seems that. reluctant to follow. Of course, he's sure creepy. that no one lives here. The braver of the teens tells his friend that he's been watching the house for days and hasn't seen wow. anyone come in or out. He's been staking the only it out. The signs of life have been a very <laughs> faint light visible between That's the cracks of the house's boarded up Ooh. windows. And he's not even sure if he actually saw any lights or not. Uh, if there is anyone in there, it's just some crazy old person. They can easily wow. scare them off and loot the house at their leisure. What? His friend still doesn't this look sure. Basically, criminal proceeds to take out a lockpick. He tells his friend to keep a lookout while he works on the door. Wow, this dude is a master long, criminal. Though, for the lock <laughs> almost immediately opens with a loud click. Wow. He opens the door carefully, but it still squeaks loudly. Whatever you're gonna get, the crack, actually. He can't see much of anything <laughs> inside. It looks mm -hmm. very dark. Okay. Come on, he tells his friend as he slips inside. Come on, it's clear. His friend looks I think, nervous as he I can't watches see his anything. friend disappear into the house. Suddenly, you there's a loud crash. Music. Oh no, we've been caught. He oh. thinks as he spins around. You saw that? But he doesn't see a police officer coming to arrest them or a nosy passerby. Instead, he watches as a cat chases a rat into some trash cans, knocking okay. more of them over. He breathes a uh, sigh of relief as he watches the cat come out of the pile of trash, holding its prey limply by the tail. Good job, kitty. He turns to follow <laughs> his friend into the house, but is stopped when the door snaps shut in his face. Okay. He tries the doorknob. You may have locked. just he taps been saved. The door. No response. He taps a little louder, whispering, Hey, what's going on? But still no response. What <laughs> is going on? Something got him. Inside, his friend is also pulling on the doorknob. Oh. But it's no use. The door won't budge, and the so, lock won't turn. What he saw earlier he wasn't tries a tapping face. Lightly it was on the his door, friend, but There's no signs from outside that anyone has heard him. He's trapped. He looks around the darkened room. Just like the outside, the interior looks like it hasn't been updated in hundreds of years. You didn't bring a light, bro. Dust and cobwebs are everywhere. Like no one has set foot inside. But they in got decades. some plates and stuff. Yeah, you all, I guess it will write about small riches. tables and shelves around the room. But a lit are candle lit candles. With no other option, he decides to move deeper into the house. I always love the into the next lovers. room, which is in much really the cool same looking. condition as the first. Dusty and, a lit and candle old, again. but with several candles placed around that. This is straight up haunted house vibes, yo. Light. <laughs> Not only does someone still live here. But they've lit these candles recently. Right. He takes a folding knife out of his pocket and opens it. Oh, so you go cut them? Front of him. You gonna cut Just the then, owner? He hears something. To steal their plates? Like footsteps. And it sounds like it's coming from upstairs in the room right above. Oh my God! <laughs> it might be coming down. He's not only a burglar; he's, he's ready to hide. murder somebody with a pocket he knife. He spots a sofa near the corner and tries to get down behind it as much as possible. As he grips the edge of the sofa with one hand, he suddenly drops his knife to the floor and uses his now free hand to stifle a scream. He looks at the hand that was just gripping the sofa and sees a long sewing needle plunge deep into his hand. Oh. Was this stuck into the couch? He pulls the needle out of his hand. It nearly went all the way through. Oh. And holds the bloody wound up to his mouth, trying to stop the flow of blood as he waits and listens. Oh. The sound of footsteps finally stop. Can Whoever you imagine? Around, it doesn't sound like they're coming down the stairs to find him. He has to get out of this house, though. There must be another way out. He picks up his knife and quietly moves to the next room. Right. Once again, it's in the same condition as the last. With a lit what, candle, though, huh? What's that in the corner? Is that a oh. person lying there? Outside the house, his friend is looking <laughs> through the same trash that he saw the cat what hunting the heck? in. Aha, just what he was looking for. A coat an hanger? wire hanger. He runs back to the old house. Ain't nobody use wire hangers. And inserts the thin wire into ever. the lock. Inside, Ever. trespassing teen gets closer and closer to the thing in the back. corner. 
It's so dim, though, with the only light coming from the candles that he still can't make out what it is. But he feels strangely compelled to find out. Uh, he picks up one of the of candles course. off of the nearby table. Outside, he still can't the get the old person open. you wanted to cut, He's remember? To trying. He can't leave his friend trapped inside. He's standing right over the thing in the corner now. He kneels down and brings the candle close to see what it is, then screams. His friend throws down the hanger in frustration before sitting down on the porch. Wow. He can't figure out why his friend was able to open the lock so easily, and now it won't move. <laughs> it's something in the mechanism. Because he had a lock pick and he you had know a coat what hanger? He's going to do, though. Should he call for help? <laughs> you the police will arrest them both if he does. Right. How long should he wait, though? It feels like his friend has been stuck for a long time, and he hasn't heard anything from inside. I mean, what could possibly be happening in there. <laughs> he's Did getting he just murdered. Leave and hope that his friend is able to escape on his own. Uh, I mean, just as he is wondering oh. what to do, he hears a click uh. behind him. He turns around and tries the door handle, but it's still locked. He you looks saw that down and sees the wire hanger. Maybe he'll give it one more try. Okay. He sticks the hanger into the lock and hears one the lock pop try. open almost instantly. He tries the door handle and this time uh -huh. the door swings open. Bait. He stands there looking through the cracked door. Playing hard to get house. a little bit to He's terrified to fool at the thought of going inside. Well, but I he guess. can't leave his friend in there. If he's in trouble, then he has to save him. <laughs> Gathering up all of you his go courage, get him. <laughs> he enters the house and sees Make sure the same you got your thing pocket knife did, too. A dusty old room. He takes a step into the candlelit room and freezes. There's something in the middle of the room. Uh oh. It's a chair that's turned away from him. It's his but he friend. Can see that someone is sitting in it. But wait, is that his friend? Yeah. Hey. He calls in a loud whisper, but his friend doesn't respond. His friend's dead? Come on, let's get out of here. Or change no somehow, response. maybe. He starts walking toward This is plan, about puppets, but right? Stops when he hears what sounds like footsteps coming from the room above him. Same, same He's deal. He's got to get his friend and get out of this house. He checks over his shoulder to make sure the door is still open before uh -huh. starting to quietly move towards his friend again. He's close enough that he can reach out and shake his shoulder, but his friend doesn't react. He did. He walks around to the front of the chair and sees his or friend. Or something wrong with his Except face. It's no longer his friend. Staring back at him it's a are puppet. two empty eye sockets. God! His mouth has been pulled back by oh. sticking of bread into a horrifying permanent grin. But worst of all is what he hears. It's the sound of the front door, the door. slamming shut. And behind you. Privyet. <laughs> Today's file is a special <laughs> one and comes from the Russian branch of the SCP Foundation. <clears throat> it's SCP-1098 RU, are also you? known as the Theater of Living Puppets. Oh my gosh. SCP-1098 RU is a two-story house located in a small Russian city which appears to have been constructed in the Baroque style, which was popular in the 17th and 18th centuries. All and right. It's characterized by its exuberant details. The house is likely several hundred years and old and is in an advanced state of disrepair. The local government administration has marked the house for demolition multiple times, but for reasons that remain unknown, these plans are always scrapped or indefinitely delayed. Okay. All of the doors that lead into SCP-1098-RU are locked, and the mm -hmm. windows are all boarded up. Anyone who attempts to damage the house, even just by removing the boards from the windows, will experience an odd anomalous effect that compels them to instead protect the structure and oh. cause it no harm. Huh. This effect only wears off when the subject moves at least 50 meters away from the house. Weird. The only way to enter SCP-1098-RU is through the front door, mm. which even though it is locked, is easily able to be picked open, which causes no harm to the house and okay. prevents the anomalous effect from <laughs> overcoming the subject trying to gain entrance. Once someone Unless has entered the house, they will find that the door closes behind them and locks itself. Right. The lock cannot then be picked open again for one hour. Okay, so it takes of the one house hour. Matches like the exterior stylistically, also <laughs> appearing to have been designed in the Baroque style and in a poor condition. The house is quite dark since there are no electric lights present, and all of the windows are boarded up, blocking any outside light. The only illumination comes from the lit from those candles, candles that are placed around the house, which appear to be constantly replaced and lit again <laughs> when they burn out. Interesting. The sound of slow footsteps can be heard inside the house, though the room they are coming from seems to change. The entity okay. producing the sounds has been classified as SCP-1098-RU-1, uh, and it is thought that it is also responsible for the placing and relighting of candles around the house, as well as several other anomalous effects. The Russian branch of the SCP Foundation first became aware of potential anomalous activity related to SCP-1098-RU 
after the disappearance of multiple teenagers was linked uh, to the location. And all of In them were trying many to of their friends and family reported the that their last or... known locations were near the site of the old Baroque style wow. home. And several had expressed a desire to investigate the house before they disappeared. Sure. Local police investigated the house, which only led to them disappearing as well. <laughs> after learning of the strange activity connected wow. to the house, the foundation took over Bro, the when the rescue party goes planting missing, a cover story up, that man. totalitarian sects were responsible for the disappearances, while Class A amnestics were administered to all ah. relatives of the missing teens. <laughs> The foundation immediately began investigating the house, but carefully, since they right. had already seen how easily people could go missing inside. Sure. In the first excursion into the house, a remotely controlled robot fitted with a camera ah, was sent inside. Ah, nice. Just the like when Rover. a person enters, the door <laughs> closed and locked behind the robot. All right. But its camera feed continued to broadcast images to the researchers outside. Sure. As the robot explored the rundown house's rooms, it found something much more disturbing than just lit candles. Okay. In several of the rooms, uh -huh. corpses were discovered. Which right. Were later identified as being some of the missing teenagers. Yep. All of the bodies found had their eyeballs removed, and yeah. thick threads had been sewn into their arms and legs, as if they had been turned into giant living puppets. Puppets. Some of them also had stitches in their chest and face areas. The face stitches appear to have been made to force the face to have a certain expression. Right. While the chest stitches may indicate that organs had been removed. Uh huh. No signs of decomposition Gosh. were present, though, despite some really? of the bodies likely being many months old. Okay. Several objects were also found. So it's next definitely to the bodies, anomalous. Including surgical knives, needles, thread, and at least one uh. artificial eye. Oh. Exactly one hour after the robot entered the house, the camera ceased broadcasting images uh -oh. and all contact. It got stepped on. <laughs> For the second excursion, in one hour. House, in other words, when decided the that a door human opens, being would right? be more effective at gathering information than a D robot. Class. A Class D personnel was given a flashlight, a camera, and a radio, and All sent right. on a mission to attempt to remove oh, objects from the house and to locate the robot man. from the first research mission. Right. The D class entered the house, and researchers noted that, that from what they could see on the video, he has no idea that the layout of the puppet. house hadn't changed. <laughs> Candles were still present around the room though it was clear that they had been replaced by fresh ones. Yeah. As the D-Class explored the first floor of the house, he reported that he could hear footsteps coming mm -hmm. from different parts of the house. Yep, yeah, the telltale sign. And side. on one occasion, that it's they coming. sounded like they were coming from a room he had just left. Okay. But when he returned to that room, no one was one present. Hit. He wasn't able to locate the missing robot, but did find the same corpses that the robot had. Right. He was ordered by the researchers to he pick had a real up light the surgical time, knives too. and try bringing it out of the house. The murderous the burglars didn't even up, bring a real all light. All contact <laughs> was lost. A third mission into the house was then tried, this time with another remotely controlled robot. All right. Oh, this, this one's one a six more advanced and equipped with a thermal imager looks, and audio recording like equipment. Ah, this robot right. was also better suited for Thermal. exploration and was capable of climbing stairs so that the foundation could finally find out what was on the second oh, floor look. of this strange house. My nephew the would robot love entered little, the home and ascended little, to the second like floor. That, as it explored the rooms, it found one particularly strange one that appeared to be operating as a kind of sewing workshop sewing machines. with huge amounts of thread, ah. needles, and other sewing supplies spread across multiple tables. So Dark red stains covered many of the oh, tables. Blood, yeah. No bodies were discovered So I guess in the that's when it's room. done? The that's robot where, continued that's to explore happens. the second floor, though, and soon discovered many more corpses, wow. accounting for nearly all of the missing teenagers, the police that had vanished, as well as the missing D-class personnel. Oh. All of them had been dressed he in got, 18th century yeah, style Yeah, he got clothing, dressed up their eyes like an aristocrat. And replaced with artificial ones, oh my giving gosh, them a perpetual glassy-eyed stare. Yeah. Long, thick threads had been sewn into their arms and legs as well. Uh -huh. The sound recording equipment on the robot captured the same sounds of footsteps that the D-Class had reported, Wait, but no. the thermal imager didn't locate any signs of life. Right. The researchers decided to call an end to the experiment and began guiding the robot back out of the house. Okay. But just as it reached the front door, oh, the door the closed. Lost, you see, you need a 360 camera on one of these, man. One final expedition Not a regular. Home was approved. This time using another D-Class personnel. Ah, His mission okay. was to explore the entire house, including the second floor, before attempting to leave the home. Gotcha. The D-Class entered the home as normal, but immediately reported feeling a strange feeling that the other D-Class hadn't mentioned. Okay. He told the researchers listening that he was experiencing an intense headache and pressure in his ears, and that oh. he could hear what sounded like someone crying in another room. Oh, wow. None of the equipment picked up the crying sounds, and the D-Class was ordered to investigate further. Okay. He approached the room that he claimed the sound was coming from, but still nothing was detected on the audio recording equipment. He was ordered to Music's enter the room, up the pace. and though he seemed Something scared about to and reluctant, 
Eventually, he did so. Once inside, he reported seeing a young girl wearing an 18th century style dress. The girl was dancing, but crying as she did uh, so. Uh, uh, uh. Just like on the corpses oh, that had no. previously been found inside the house, threads were connected to her God, arms and legs. That's so creepy, but these dude. ones were pulled tight and uh -huh. stretched up towards the ceiling. The D-Class followed Somebody their path was doing up, the puppeteer. they disappeared into the darkness, uh -huh. reporting that it looked like there was no ceiling at all, Is just that... an inky black void right. where something was manipulating the strings oh, attached my to the gosh. girl, forcing her to dance. None of these visuals so supported creepy, by the man. Class D could be seen on the video feeds really? the were watching. So it's... As far as they could see, he was like staring paranormal. into an empty room. The D-Class was ordered to continue watching this strange recital, though. Right. After five minutes, all of the communication devices ceased working. The video feed Got was you. lost too, but the audio continued to record for a few more seconds, during which time a sharp clap noise was heard. The D-Class began screaming as a deep male voice spoke a phrase in Latin. Et perficiendi sit pretium. Oh my gosh, dude. Must be paid for. No further signs of the D-Class were ever found. I gotta say, man. SCP-1098 RU has Latin sent voices. to prevent the general That's straight up being devil, man. It. That's the a devil. The team of four security <laughs> guards is always on site, and anyone who attempts to gain entry to the house is to be detained, interrogated, right. and amnestics. administered Class B amnestics. Mm. Additional research into SCP-1098 RU is SCP, ongoing, dude. but requires approval from at least two members of the O5 Council. And to wow. date, no further expeditions inside this anomaly, which has been given the object Class Euclid, have been authorized. Right. It is still unknown who or what exactly the entity inside of SCP-1098 is. You don't need to send an immortal is, in there. But it has been somebody that has anomalous SCP properties that can teleport out or so. one And some in the Foundation have taken to calling it by a nickname. The Master of Puppets. Mm -hmm. Now go and watch another entry from the files of Dr. Bob. That was really, really neat, dude. And I gotta say, it's it's straight out of Creepsville. <laughs> Puppets and stuff. They've been in horror movies before. I remember when I was young watching uh, a Puppet Master like horror film or whatever. And it was this. It's like dolls, right? Dolls. <laughs> it's really good guys go subscribe to dr bob subscribe to me if you like reaction videos too and i changed up some audio and video stuff i actually uh redid my computer the other day i reformatted it and set it all up again so if there's any issues with the audio quality or the video quality and stuff i apologize i'll get it right let me know in the comments and i'll see what i can do about it thanks again so much for watching guys as always this is Ulgen signing off we'll see you next time